I want to talk for a minute about democracy. American democracy is in decline. Our democratic institutions are under stress. We've experienced uh, an election in which not all Americans agree on the outcome of the election as being valid. Um, and there's extreme misinformation in our media environment. Um, and we've had a violent insurrection at the US Capitol. Our institutions are under extreme duress. And while I talk a lot in class about the sources of this kind of duress and how inequality leads to polarization, leads to the deterioration of democratic norms, which is how we get to this point of failing American democratic institutions, what I want to talk about here is what we can do about it. Um, and one of the things I'm doing about it is forming a democracy squad. Now, to be very clear from the outset, this has nothing to do with democratic politics. Um, democracy is a nonpartisan or rather party neutral thing. I actually prefer the term party neutral to nonpartisan because nonpartisan gives the idea that there's something bad about parties and there's, it's better to not have parties or to be non-party associated. Um, but that's not true. Parties are good. Parties are essential institutions in democracies. Um, but I don't want you to have the idea that there's anything partisan about this particular effort. This effort is about reinforcing democratic institutions. That's our, our liberties and our freedoms and our civil rights um, and our branches of government and, and everything in between. And what I want to do is recognize that part of the reason our, our institutions are under stress is because of a lack of connections among partisans, right? We have so much polarization in our environment. Republicans and Democrats can't even agree to operate in the same space, uh, much less begin to compromise on things. And so we have to figure out how to make connections between people that have nothing to do with partisan politics. And that's what Democracy Squad is for. So Democracy Squad is run on a platform called Magnify that was invented by my brilliant friend, Betsy Sinclair, who is a political scientist and uh, a brilliant uh, coder and computer scientist and um, understands sociology and networks and politics. Um, and uh, she's combined all of her skills in, to produce a platform that's essentially a social media platform solely designed at civic engagement. So Democracy Squad is a space to give our participants uh, a way to connect with one another over positive, small actions that we can take that can reinforce democracy through our just everyday things that we do in our life. So this website talks a little bit about why this is important and what Democracy Squad can do and all of that type of thing and, and some of the literature that might underlie um, uh, how we got to this point and all of that. But what I want to do is show you literally how to use it. So to get involved with Democracy Squad, you're going to go to this platform called Magnify. Here's what Magnify looks like. You need to make yourself a little account. I've already made mine. You can also download Magnify to your smartphone. So you can get it on any of the regular, uh, you know, App Store or Google Play or whatever. Um, and uh, then you're going to go to Organizations and you're going to find Democracy Squad. So Democracy Squad, even though this is something I started about six months, months ago, is spreading to other universities. Um, and some of theirs are bigger than ours, so hopefully ours will continue to grow. In any case, uh, this is the page. Uh, you're going to click Organizations, you're going to click Mason's Democracy Squad, um, and you're going to get access to all of these individual projects. These are projects that, that me and other students and other people have made in Democracy Squad um, that are just little things that you can do to help reinforce democracy. Some of them are, have to do with actually engaging with institutes of government, uh, such as you know, attending a city council meeting or, or writing letters uh, to representatives. Some of them are simple, like helping the community, like wearing masks or sewing masks or donating items um, or talking about helping people vote or food pantries. All of these little activities um, are things that we can do to improve positive connectivity in our community that will enhance and reinforce our democratic institutions. I made this one just the other day. It's about going on campus and leaving positive messages about, um, about hope. Uh, when people are feeling down, it can be contagious to help people uh, feel uplifted. So what I want to do here is um, show you how to make your own project in Democracy Squad and give you some sort of best practices for how to do that. So first, you need an idea. So uh, I'm going to go with an idea of um, one of the things we can do to improve our information environment is when you're online on some social media, 
and you interact with somebody who is not behaving very nicely towards others or who is spreading misinformation, we need a strategy for dealing with that. And so I'm going to create a project about how to respond to mean Twitter trolls, basically. Right. Um, so first thing we need is to say that this is going to be a, a democracy squad project. Um, and we need a, a headline. So this is going to be um, fight. Actually, I don't like the word fight. Um, uh, positive response. Actually, no. This is going to be improve our information, our social media. Sorry, this is editing on the fly. I did not pre-arrange what I was going to do here. Uh, improve our social media environment. Okay, and this is going to take people, uh, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes to do, probably less than that, but give people credit. Okay, um, we also need a photo that goes with our picture. So let me give you some advice about that. I want you uh, to go to images.google.com, so we can Google images, um, and let's put in uh, troll, because we're talking about social media trolls. And before you go too much further, you can see there are some commercialized products here related to trolls. I want you to hit the, um, sorry, the settings tab and go to advanced search, scroll down to the bottom and say that you want Creative Commons licenses. What that means is you will get images that are free to use and share by anybody. They are not copyrighted um, by any other corporate entity or any other entity. So if you've got um, uh, pictures that are free to use and share, Okay, so let's pick a troll here that we're interested in adding. Ooh, I kind of like this one. Okay, I'm going with this guy. So I'm going to uh, save this image as, um, wait, I gotta put it in the right place. So this goes in my democracy squad folder. I'm gonna put it in images and this image is gonna be called troll. So we go back to magnify. We click choose photo. Um, if I was clever, I would have just dragged it to the right place. But I'm just going to navigate to the folder where I just saved that image. And we're going to add our troll image. Um, I like to make it a bit smaller. Click save. That part just takes a second. OK, we have a title. We have a photo. Uh, we are on our way to setting up our project. Okay. Now there's two big things you need. You have to tell people what to do to satisfy this project. And second, you have to tell them why it's important. Okay, we're gonna do the why it's important part first. So why does this project matter? Um, we can combat misinformation and bad behavior in social media through simple, strategies. I call my strategy calm, connect, correct. That is stay calm and polite when responding. Make some common connection with the person you are trying to correct and offer gentle correction about wrong information. Okay, if we do these things, then we can help stop the spread of misinformation. Um, now, this project is not an event. We're not going to uh, click that. Um, this is a national project. It has no specific address. We need a name for this project. So this is going to be, I always call everything Democracy Squad and then something else. So this is Democracy Squad um, uh, Twitter Troll. Click Validate. And as long as it's not taken, we're good. Um, we're going to add our own, add your email there. Okay, what do people need to do to satisfy this, this assignment? Now, to do this, you need to be specific. If people are going to join your project, they have to know what it means to join your project. You need to give them simple, easy to accomplish steps so they can get points for having done them. And you want it to be straightforward. You also want it to be something that they can share with others. They want You need, you need people to be able to talk about it or share it so that the, the positivity can, can spread to others, essentially. Um, so 
uh, when you come up, wait, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to pause the video while I write this out so it's not quite so, uh, so awkward. Okay, the magic of recording, I was able to write this out while, while it was on pause. Okay, so what I wrote was, people who engage on social media who seem to only want to anger others, often referred to as trolls, are annoying and harmful. harmful. To complete this project, do one of the following. Oh, look, I'm finding typos. One, if you find a troll who is abusive, harmful, or spreading misinformation, report the user to SOME, social media, the social media company, and block them from interacting with you. So blocking trolls is helpful and improves user experience for everybody. It also alerts the social media company to potentially uh, harmful accounts. Or if you have an interaction with somebody you know who is misinformed and you're not interested in blocking them, Try constructing a polite reply to them in which you find a way to connect with them and correct the misinformation. So for example, I wrote, Aunt Jo, I completely understand your frustration about the election. All of the claims of fraud have been investigated and disproven. I guess we'll live with this president for a while now. Hope to see you on family Zoom night. So you see how I make a connection with the person, I empathize with them. And then without saying, without citing uh, I have heard or sources say or anything like that. I just stated as fact. All of the claims of fraud have been investigated and disproven. And then, and then another sort of empathy, um, even if we're disappointed, I guess it'll be okay kind of statement. And then end with something positive. This might be a way to begin to build a connection with Aunt Jo, even if she uh, or believes misinformation. So, uh, and then finally, post a screenshot or description of your interaction below to show others how it's done. So you're going to do one of these two things, and then you're going to post it below. And when people have done that, they've done the project. Um, and sometimes it can be good to do the first one for them. Uh, so we're not asking people to contact a representative or anything like this. So we're going to leave all of this blank. We're going to hit save. And it's going to update. And because I'm the administrator of this group, we can go to pending projects, and I'm going to approve the post. Come on, here we go. And then we're gonna go back to Democracy Squad. And we're gonna see, wait, hold on. We have to click national because we said it was a national event. There's our post. So here we can improve our social media environment. And when you click on that, you can see the project. Um, so here's the assignment. It starts off with the instructions. The assignment is um, either block somebody or have an interaction and then post a screenshot. And then we have a sort of description about why it's important. Um, and then hopefully people will do it and they'll leave their screenshots or their descriptions here. Um, and then they'll click done when they're done. So this is how you use Magnify. Um, to create a new project. Of course, uh, you can always just go through here and find other projects um, rather than creating your own. Uh, this one's pretty easy. If you're on Mason's campus at some point and you wear your mask on campus, you can just take a picture of yourself and post it here. Um, I took that one of me in my office the other day when I was on campus, right? So they, they can be very simple things. Anything that helps to create positive senses of community and improve democratic institutions, lessen inequality, um, push back against misinformation, improve the partisan environment. Um, any of those types of activities are valid Democracy Squad projects. So there's lots of different things, um, events on campus, things that you're reading, anything you can think of that others could share with or share with one another makes a good Democracy Squad project. Keep it positive, keep it partisan neutral, um, you know, keep it based in, in what we know about how, uh, how civics works. Um, and we'll, we'll build a stronger democracy together using Democracy Squad. All right. Have fun with it.